Yo guys, what is going on? So recently, Island of Nine um, got released on Steam. And um, it's been the game that I've been playing now for the past three days. I have a total of, I think it's 28 hours on the game or something like that. Um, and I just want to talk about the future of this game um, in the esports direction. Um, I don't really play games for the whole casual gaming experience. I play it because of the competitiveness. And that's why I play games like CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege, all these first person shooters that are fairly competitive. It's just something that I really enjoy. And that's just what I want to talk about. So the island of uh, the islands of nine um, got released, as I said, four four days ago, roughly by the time this video goes up. And um, in the beginning, really rough start. Servers weren't working, missing credits, people weren't leveling up after games, um, the game crashing. Just usual bugs for a game that's in early access, and that that's what it is. It's an early access game. But the competitiveness of this game is ridiculous. It is something I've never seen with a Battle Royale game. Now, with Fortnite, you have the whole building aspect and stuff like that. But Island of Nine is more, I'd say, Battle Royale mixed with Call of Duty. Just because of how fast you can die and how movement matters so much. It's all about the movement and how you play. Um, so, with this game, you have... A ranking system now the only battle royale the other battle, battle royale game that i know that done this was the calling and that was another game that i really enjoyed um so with the island of nine you have um a basic and simple ranking up system you have um you have your tiers so you have bronze silver gold platinum and diamond i'm pretty sure and in solos i'm gold um in duos i'm silver two and in squads i'm probably bronze i i've played like five games of squads but um it's very simple how it works basically you play a game battle royale game you jump in if you get a kill the more kills you get the more experience you get and the more experience and how long you stay alive gets added up in the end and then you rank up now if you get to gold and you jump into a game you loot up and you get instantly killed then you're going to start de-ranking so you must stay at a consistent rate so you must be hitting people it doesn't matter if you kill them just once you hit them with a gun you'll still rank up now the higher the rank you are the less um actual points you're going to get towards that rank so diamonds won't be a lot harder to get to and if you instantly die you're going to lose a lot of points that are going to be hard to um regain so, that whole ranking system in itself is a great feature to a Battle Royale game, just because it makes the game competitive without the whole ESL, MLG kind of aspect to most Battle Royale games. Now, I know MLG or Game Battles does Fortnite and a lot of other Twitter uh, tournament companies do the whole Fortnite thing, but this game itself has its own um, competitive feature. Um, leaderboards also um i know a lot of people high up on leaderboards take it very serious you know they want to pass each other out and um, so that's not a great feature just how competitive the players themselves are now this game reminds me a lot of the culling because you seem to jump into games with people you know a lot so the whole competitiveness between players is very tense and um, for example yesterday we were in a game me and ghastly uh, we were playing, we got killed by a guy. After that game, we jumped into another game, and we actually killed that guy again. And he, uh, Gassy said to me, oh, that was the guy that killed us. And it's just, it, it's enjoyable knowing that, okay, you got your revenge on someone, and hopefully they know that they killed you, and then you killed them. But, um, same thing happened in Culling. It was just very competitive between all players. Most players knew each other, and they took it very serious. Now, this game has um, private servers. They're all locked now. I think it's only devs that can like open them and stuff like that. But they have private servers at launch in a um, 
a beta or early access game is great because then you know they have the ability to hold custom tournaments and um, they did have some invitational thing i don't know if that was a tournament or whatever but um yeah this game will definitely have esports and um, attached to it so um the player base at the moment as as of recording this video is currently 4259 players so um that's not that much when you compare it to fortnite or any big game like that but the fact that it has the competitive competitive ranking and the custom servers already built in just makes it the possibility of it being a lot bigger in esports than fortnite is um is great so um with this game when you drop in you um can go outside the circle so the minute you drop it tells you where the actual safe zone is going to be so you can drop outside the safe zone loot up and get into the safe zone um without getting caught in a storm and that's because the guns um are just so simple so you have your typical tier of guns you have your assault rifles which you have three of them you have the m4 the ak and the cx4 which is a semi-automatic rifle and um, this gun honestly is supposed to be an smg i'm pretty sure in most games but in this one it's a assault rifle then you have your shotgun which is just the one semi-automatic shotgun um really op up close then you have the smgs you have the ump and the p90 and um, both great guns um, and then you have your pistols so with the pistols you have your deagle and your m9 i'm pretty sure that's what it's called and then you have a tier two of that m9 i'm pretty sure and um, then you just have your standard knife um, you can throw that knife and it does like respawn in your hand and um, it's kind of like a throwing knife fairly op i'm pretty sure if you throw it up close it's fairly op as well the health in this game um, I don't know if you'll see in these clips or anything, but when you hit someone, you might be doing 12 damage. But 12 damage in general is a lot. In most, like, PUBG and Fortnite, you have to absolutely drill people with bullets. In this game, if you hit them in the head and they're wearing a shield or a helmet, that's two bullets and he's guaranteed to be dead. So, if you're wearing a helmet, you get hit in the head, your helmet's off. If you get hit in the head again, insta kill with most guns. I'm pretty sure pistols, uh, pistols up close do, do uh, one shot headshots. Um, shotguns are really OP up close. Um, and just in general, how health works, it it's fifty fifty to me, honestly, because you can have a shield which uh, deflects the first bullet that hits you. So once you get shot, that shield is gone, and then you start taking damage after that one bullet. Um, great feature um, but I think it could be a bit better uh, with shotguns and snipers like that it seems to just go through that, that shield um, another great feature uh, in this game is how easy it is to find loot um, basically no matter where you drop you're going to find a gun you're going to find meds and a few bits of armor and the higher or the bigger areas you're going to find all the necessary stuff with this game there's not a lot of stuff you need to collect. Which within five minutes of looting, you're probably stacked. You won't have room for anything else. You can only hold 120 assault rifle ammo, um, and that's in that's not including the the mag. Um, you can hold 32 shotgun ammo and stuff like that. Three meds if you have an extra capacity thing, but um, that's only if you have that. So you can find loot very easily, especially when you're running uh, into the safe zone, just coming past uh, buildings. They're just absolutely filled with loot. And honestly, it makes the game very fair because you're going to be up against people with the same weapons as you. So it's more about outplaying people than outgunning them. Because um, in PUBG and stuff like that, you have the different tier of armors and the different tier of weapons in this. You're just going to be shooting the people that have the same stuff as you. So it's all about knowledge and what to do next. Um, which is a great competitive aspect to the game. So uh, yeah guys, I think that's it for this game. Honestly guys, if you haven't checked out this game, um, make sure you do so. It's honestly a really good 
game. I am high hopes for this game. Hopefully the devs um, continue updating this game. They've been really active on Discord. They actually have a Discord server where you can directly message most of the admins um, and the developers. So if you have any bugs or any issues like that, you can message them and they get back to you. Um, so yeah, guys, that's that's it from me today. Um, hope to see you in the next one. Uh, peace out. Avoid hazardous zone at all costs. Caught in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.